Hey, Rob Live with Harness, and today we're going to be taking a look at recommendations from continuous efficiency and how you can execute on those. If you're unfamiliar with continuous efficiency, continuous efficiency is one of the latest products from Harness, helping you democratize cloud cost. So there's no more questions about how much your application costs you. Taking a look at continuous efficiency, if you navigate when you log into Harness to continuous efficiency and then explore, you're greeted with a bunch of findings and data you can dig into. The one that's most prudent for us to look at is actually the recommendations. So we click on top recommendations. Here I actually have two recommendations with potential monthly cost savings. So the application I just deployed, we can take a look at this particular savings here. Uh, currently, it is a Kubernetes-based application, and in my container resources, I have limits and requests. Basically, what, how much resources I request is guaranteed, and also what to happen if I approach a maximum when throttling starts to occur. Currently, I have 7 gigabytes of memory and 1.5 CPUs, but Continuous Efficiency has analyzed two days of data so far as long the application has been running to actually kind of say, hey, you know what? You only need 250 megabytes of memory and actually a, a 25 uh, CPU shares. Now, if we take a look at the deployment, we can see that what's actually what was requested. Here, I've been doing a few deployments requesting more or less and actually what's actually being used, which is pretty much uh, nothing. And this is actually costing a lot of money on the cluster. So how do you go about actually making the adjustments? Since this application is actually deployed by hunters, it should be pretty straightforward. So let's take a look at the application. If we go to setup, actually this app is called Expensive Application. And let's dig into the service, the big amazing application. Uh, taking a look at the deployment spec here, we can scroll down to take a look at the particular resource limits. So let's go ahead and change this to the recommendation that we had. So it's 25 shares and 250 megabytes. Let's make that now. Click edit. Let's go ahead and make that. So it was 25 shares and 250 megabytes. Yeah, same thing, we'll go ahead and make the request that too. So let's do 25, 25 shares and 250 megabytes of memory. Go ahead and click save. And all we have to do now is redeploy this. So if we come back to continuous deployment, click on deployments, let's go ahead and start a new deployment. Go ahead and just execute the workflow we created. Expensive app, deploy our expensive stuff. Uh, go ahead and deploy a tag. It's like, let's save some money. Go ahead and deploy this. And that was really quick. We actually redeployed the application. We can just come back and validate that our limits have been updated. And now we're well on our way of saving money in our Kubernetes cluster. Until next time, cheers, Robbie.